Hey everybody, today I wanted to go over something that's a little bit cool in Python and I wanted to go over speech recognition. Uh, this is something that I'm brand new to as well, um, but I just want to go over some of those basics. Uh, so first thing you need to do is install the dependency. So that will be pip install speech recognition. Just hit enter. Remember that it does want you to be uh, specific with the capitalization okay I've already got it installed okay um, so I'm actually going to do this in an IDE just because it's easier to do it there um, I can't do it in Visual Studio code right now there's a bug in Visual Studio for Mac where it's not asking for the permissions so I'm still looking into that so I'm just going to import speech recognition and I'll do that as SR so I don't have to type all that out and I'm going to import a recognizer and I'm going to store it inside of a variable so I'll just call this recorder and I'll say SR dot recognizer and that is a function okay and now I want to tell it to use my default microphone and I'm going to store it inside the source. So with sr.microphone as the source, I want you to do the following. So I'm going to have it print and let the user know that we are ready for their speech. Um, so I'm just going to say something like, say something. Okay, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna have a listener use my source, and I'm gonna store inside of audio. So audio, assign it to recorder dot listen, and give that listen function the source, which will be my microphone. Okay, get a little bit of room. And now I want to I want to use Google to help me uh, take this audio and to convert it to text for me, and then I'll store it inside of text. Okay, so text will be recorder dot recognize Google, and I'm going to send Google my audio, whatever I said in my microphone, and then I'm just going to have it print whatever I said. So you said yada yada whatever I said. But it's going to do it inside of text. Okay. So let's go ahead and run this and just kind of test it so far. Make sure we're doing okay. So come here. I'll get into my Python REPL. Paste it. Hello, can you hear me? I said paste it, but it heard taste it. But either way, it's recognizing some speech and it converted it to text. Now let me try something else. Hello, can you hear me? You said, hello, can you hear me? So that's working really nicely. Okay, so and exit my REPL and I'm just going to clear it um, and I'll go write some more. So I can actually, now that I have actual text data, I can use it for other things. So what if I wanted to have it recognize certain words that I'm saying? Uh, so I can just take this text and I'll just say split it and the split function will take a string and it'll take each word and it'll put it into a list for us so now that that's in a list i'll say if the word let's say python is in the string text then i want you to print 
I heard you say the word <clears throat> Python. Okay. Else print. I didn't hear you say Python. Sad face. Okay. So let's now take this and see if it recognizes if we said Python or not. So I'll get back in here, get back into my Python REPL, paste. Hello, Python, can you hear me? Okay, so here's my text. It said, you said, hey, hello, Python, can you hear me? Which is correct. And it said, I heard you say the word Python. So that worked really well. So now you can see that you can have your Python code listen for certain words. Uh, you can use this for like different commands, kind of like if you're using Siri or Alexa, um, or if you wanted it to use like a bad word filter, you can do that. You can check out my other YouTube video that I just uploaded um, on the bad word filter. You can click on this card above for that video and you can implement that using this. So you can uh, say something and you can filter out certain words and that would be very useful. So that's how you do a simple speech recognition program inside of Python. And remember, you want to be able to find a coding environment that will allow you to have permissions to use your microphone. That's why Visual Studio is not working for me on my Mac until they've fixed that bug. Um, but if you have any issues of it not recognizing, that's probably what the reason is. So anyways, if you liked that video, go ahead and check out my other tutorials. Go ahead and like and subscribe so that you are notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. And I will talk to you guys next time.